up, guys? What up, what up? We are heading to the Kaibab now. On the road again. On the road again and again and again. It is, uh, what day is it? Uh, sometime Monday. in November. It's Monday <laughs> in November 2020. We won't forget that part. <laughs> We're, we just spent the whole day getting everything all situated and handled in St. George and <clears throat> loaded up. And now we're headed to the Kaibab a couple days early. It's been really nice to be able to hit all of these hunts a little bit early. Yes. Makes it a little bit less chaotic. Yes, which helps me out a lot. He does good. He does good when he has time. <laughs> yes. And so do I. Instead of waiting until the last minute to leave it's and, dark and drive and the whole night. I hate the time changed. I hate time changed. I really like the sun. And I like it to stay up as long as possible. But anyway, we're heading up to the Kaibab, driving through Colorado City right now. And we are going to go get our camp established. Do some shit hunting. Yeah. And what else? Some scouting, some glassing, some spotlighting. <laughs> just a little bit of everything. We're just gonna go live with the deer. We're gonna just go become, come like the deer. <laughs> Hopefully, we can find us a big buck that we can have uh, rounded up and tied up for opening morning. I'm excited. This is our last hunt for this uh, section of the guiding. We're gonna come home, and I have a crap ton of work piled up for us. So. I'm helping him, and then he gets to help me <laughs> on all my sites, which you guys are so awesome. Thank you so much, everybody who has purchased a sign. Like, I am blown away at how uh, many people have uh, supported us. Thank you. Not surprised, because you guys are so freaking awesome, but super grateful. That's what we'll go home and do after these hunts are over, which hopefully will be um, at least the day before Thanksgiving. We'd like to be back um, in time for Thanksgiving with our kids. So that's the goal. That's the plan. And uh, yeah, then we'll have a month off and then we'll be right back at it down in Arizona. Yep. That's how that's <laughs> gonna go. That's the way it's gonna roll. Yep. Uh, it will keep you guys uh, apprised of anything if it changes. Yeah. Um, and I will be videoing the stuff before the hunt too, so you guys will get to go along with uh, with us as always. Thanks for watching. Later. What's up, guys? We are on our first day of scouting here for the Kaibab in November mid-november already can't believe it but we we're gonna get some shit hunting in and i decided to drop down a couple levels josh is still i think up high and i found a shed this little guy had a room with a view he knew how to pick pick a prime location <laughs> All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now I wanna find some giants. What's up guys? So uh, we've been walking for, I don't know, five minutes from the truck. Me and Britt are out here shed hunting in the middle of the day, looking for deer. Just enjoying freedom and uh, the country and the weather. It's almost too hot. But yeah, we got a shed. Looks like a little four point. Yeah, an old little Ford boy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Nothing big, but he has a cool look to him. <laughs> I want to hide that. Almost like a three-point with a hook cheater. All right, let's keep looking. Well, we're just making our way back to the uh, truck. And I'm sitting here just crunching away on pine nuts. And we got shed. Looks like it's been kicked over. I'm gonna guess something's kicked it over. It's right there. Yeah, that's why it's way lighter. 
cool. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Little guy. We'll take her though. Let's keep looking. It's about time to get on a knoll and start glassing. What up, what up? All right, I just spotted something through the trees. It looked pretty good. Ooh, it's pretty. Oh, it's a three by four. Pretty cool deadhead right there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, I'm gonna get a couple pictures and then I'll pick it up. I'll have Britt run the camera since she's right here too. All right. Pretty good bust with some mass right here. Oh yeah. Oh nice. Good G2s on him. Yeah, seriously. Good threes. Look at that blading. That's a crazy. Short beamed. Well, on this side, and then just the three on that side, but narrows all get out. But good buck. I mean, he's not a bad buck at all. Too bad he didn't survive to find out. Bino Very cool. What? Is it my bino harness is sitting kind of cockeyed. Cockeyed is kind of the way to go. <laughs> Or did something and that is how you drop your phone. Hold on a second. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry about that. Alright, what do we got here? We got us a shed. What we got going? Big three. Yeah, that could be the other side to my four. Oh, I hope not. That means it's a three by four. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me take a couple pics of this bad boy real quick, and then uh, we'll pick it up and see what it looks like. All right, let's pick this up and see what we got going here. Oh, yeah. I just... Not a hundred percent, but that's a pretty big three. That looks like it could be the match to that four I picked up. Not a hundred percent. It's definitely last year's though. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's walk around and see what else we can find. Holy crap, it's about time I found something. Josh is swooping all around me. Heck yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is my Unabomber look. I'm really nailing it. I found a cool shed, woo! Heck yeah, I got Josh off my line finally. <laughs> He's right above me just like swooping everything up right as, right before I get to it. This is cool. Check him out. He's so compact. Oh, there's my water. He is a tiny freaking giant. Like, see how little his base is? But look at that sucker. Goodness. <laughs> Hell yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's sweet. Find the other side. Got another shed. Nice four. Not a giant. A little bit older, younger buck. But uh, a good shed. Not a bad shed at all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <coughs> I'm gonna take some pics and pick it up. Be right back. All right, let's pick it up. See what we got here. 
Oh yeah, nice four. Not bad, not bad at all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So hopefully the other side's not too far. Right here somewhere. Okay. Start gridding. This yellow grass can hide some stuff. A couple good sheds so far. Let's see what else we can find. We're out on the evening of. Big rock. Uh, we have one more day before the opening day of yeah. our hunt. So we're out here scouting around. And for deals. Yeah, we got to go shower today. Did that. Just spoiled. I did. Because we are only two days in. But <laughs> the reason why is because that guy spilled a whole friggin' thing, a 32 ounce cup of coffee. My coffee, <laughs> my whole cup of coffee I spilled all over bed. his bed. So he he has to leave his drinks at the table from now on. <laughs> <laughs> Can't have my coffee in bed anymore. I'm just kidding. But anyway, so we went to the laundromat and washed all of that. Which it needed to We had a sink at the laundromat, so we decided to shower in the sink. In the yeah, laundromat. and just wash my hair in their sink. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, there's uh, so many RV parks in Knapp, and they have showers. So the shower that we took was really nice. It was very nice. It was five bucks, and the water was super duper hot. And it was clean. So, win win. It was way clean. Now we're going to get back to work. And I had no time limit. I could just stand yeah, there could in just the hot water there. and yes. just... Which I did. Perfect. back to camp today is the day before the kayabab hunt opens and so everyone is getting here and setting up and josh and i just got back from doing some pine picking and uh yeah they're getting everybody set up so i'm just chilling getting our camp set up and organized and cleaned up for the hunt as well let's see we got some Sheds. I don't know what Josh did with them. He's already found a home for them, apparently. I think he's just stacking them. Oh, yeah, he's just stacking them. It's not even giving him a nice home. I'll fix that. 
All right, I have got our little uh, home away from home set up. This is where we'll be living for the next 10 days. Hopefully a little bit sooner we'll get off of here though because Thanksgiving is coming. So here is our locale. We've got our nice living room here, all set up complete with an end table. Yes, we are that fancy. <laughs> There's our house. Our table with food, some cooking stuff, hand washing station, and our palace. So fancy. Got our beds all set up. That's our first stash of pine nuts that we got. We got a whole bunch more now. And oh, Yes, look how fancy we are. We have coffee, a coffee maker in our tent. I got this little shelf system set up. Dollar store mirror, oh yes. And Josh's stuff hasn't exploded yet, but I will update you, because yes, it will. Let the hunts begin. Oh. 40 yards. It Probably says break. No, it's it now. So we're just leaving it in drive now, I guess. No biggie. Pretty good video. Shaky as shit. Not too bad for hand <laughs> There's a good picture right there, huh? Yeah, that's nice. Is that slow-mo? Uh-uh. Can you play it back? Or Good morning, guys. We are on day three of this Kayabab hunt. We got our first dead deer. Go check it out. What do we got here? Giant buck. Heck Big yeah, buck. Josh. Is this your first deer, Josh? Uh, this is number two. Heck yeah, man. <laughs> That's a good way to go. To What's the difference, though? First one was a little forky. Well, man, you totally uh, raised your bar. Yeah, <laughs> now you got an even higher bar to go, bud. Yeah, man. You should have bought a. Th sh sh you should have shot a three point. <laughs> <laughs> Make it a little easier on yourself next, next time. time. <laughs> <laughs> Congrats, man. That's Good awesome. Luck. Extras, palmated, bladed, heavy. He's got it all. Well, we big broke the ice. Too. Good job, Josiah. Big old body. Now I am going to walk through our little town. 
I've gotten lost going to our tent almost every night. <laughs> There's like nine or 10 camps over here. But now I'm gonna go to the best camp of all, which is the kitchen. Here I am guys. This is where all the magic happens. Coffee. We got a big old snack box that we get to take with us. It's pretty awesome. Pat's been taking great care of us. This is the kitchen area. Lots of good food has been made here so far. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Cameraman will go through anything to get the shot. Dinner. So I had these ribs in the freezer and I, and I forgot why I ate. Why oh. I How many times you gonna spill shit out there? Oh, I missed the spot right here yesterday. <laughs> he spilled this coffee creamer. Holy smokes. <laughs> hot coffee creamer. Your hot coffee creamer all over the seat. You get your shit together, man. Please. I'm working on it. from the road. Look at this cool bottle. It's freaking awesome. Wonder how old it is. I love old bottles. Look at that, butter and them eight. pancakes right up. Anybody want eight?
What's that back up? Is that a that's a doe it's back up on down. the side of the hill? Bed it down. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's a doe. Doe doe doe. Where's the mother bucks at? Do they? Right? They were up to the right. Yeah, going up that finger. Yeah, I didn't have real tall pines. No, he's stumpy and heavy. With trash. An older buck. Yeah. That's a cool buck. Yeah, he's got character for sure. He's got a hook cheater on that right. A hook cheater. A hook cheater. You got a hooker and a cheater. <laughs> <laughs> you got one of them forking cheaters. The attention span's getting. The old dial's going up, guys. That's what we want, but bigger. Here we are. Day nine, morning of day nine. And uh, Steve just got her done on a big, pretty tip, non typical. Actually, just moved. Steve's got a champ tag, so it allows him to shoot from the truck. Oh, look at that hole. He's got some trash going on, that's for sure. He wasn't going far. <laughs> Gotta love the seven mags. Had a kid, Dusty. Dusty found him for us this morning. Couldn't have done it without Dusty's help. You were the man, Dusty. That is an awesome deer. Yeah, it is. That is awesome. Yeah. He's uh he's twice what I thought he was. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is just a cool cool deer right there. Oh wow. Big old blade. G fours. Eye guards. Little little one coming. Good eye good eye guards, yeah. Wow. Some extras here. I'll back over here and we'll load him up and take him to get pre- He wants- he wants the vermilions in the background. Oh, that's the, oh, that's the yeah. So. been a member of ZGF since June. Uh, joined, paid the membership fee, drew this hunt, and this is the animal that we harvested. Uh, since we saw him last, he uh, he's broke a few, got a, about another six inch coming off this side. Uh, another little couple little breaks. Quite an animal, hunt 12B West. Uh, how much did you pay for your membership? Paid $350 for the membership. And fees. $350 you got how many days paid for by Zero, Zero Guide Five Peace? days of hunting, fully guided, fully furnished out by ZGF with Arizona Strip Guides. It's a deal you can't be. So it works? It works very well. It worked very well for me. It'll work very well for you. Right on. All right, Steve, it was a pleasure having you in camp. And congrats on the stud buck. Thank you. It's a dandy. 
Heck yeah. So much missing, character. Missing six inches here. Yeah, yeah. We can fix so, that. That'd be about 33 <laughs> wide, counting that tip to tip. Yeah. Good ass for something better, guys. Heck yeah. Congrats, bud. Thank you. Guys. We are done. We are, well, we're done for the month of December. <laughs> but for the most part, we are done. The hunts are over. We uh, finished on day nine of the 10 day hunt on uh, the Kaiba Lake. And we killed a stud buck that um, we probably should have killed opening day. He just, he wanted to see what else was out there. And uh, we did everything we could for what we were able to do. Um, Steve was awesome. He was awesome to have in camp. He was awesome to hunt with. His son was great. Uh, he was very limited. He had uh, 14 discs removed from his back. He was on oxygen the whole time and he couldn't walk very far so we really couldn't we were really limited on what we could do but uh after spending 23 points i think he said he had he uh he, he wanted to hold out and see what there was and try to get the best buck he could so we shot a great buck um Brit flew home just before thanksgiving to spend thanksgiving with the kids and the family. This is the first Thanksgiving that I've ever missed in my life, and it sucked. Granted, I was hunting and doing what I love. It just it stuck. It sucked. I've, I've never had to be without the family on Thanksgiving. So, but we're on our way home now, and I'm excited. And uh, we're gonna get some videos edited, and we're gonna get some stuff posted, and then we're gonna go do it again in the month of January. So. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.